Hello and welcome back to the another video of Python 2020. So in this series of videos, we are focusing on implementing Microsoft Graph API to do all the communication using emails and Microsoft Teams. And in this particular video, we are going to see how can we filter emails when we are reading the emails from inbox. In this example, we are going to see five different queries of filtering the emails. So you can use them with different different programming languages. And you will find the link of this uh, MSDN page in description. So we have already seen in last video how, how can we read emails from our inbox. We are going to use same code file. Initially, I will write the code to save attachment in a different Python file and later we will integrate the code with read email itself. If, in case if you want to see the last video of how can we read emails from inbox, you can find the link in the description. So if you are first time using Graph API, and you have not completed few of the required steps. So right now you can see on your screen, you have to first register the application in Azure portal. And then you have to assign required permissions to the tenant. And after assigning permission to the tenant, you will get these three details, client ID, client secret, and tenant ID. So to, to generate the authorization token, we will require these details. If you are not aware how to get these details and how to complete all of these steps, I have explained all of these steps in the first video of this series that is send email using Graph API. You will find the link in description. You can have a look on that video. Before I start the video, I would like to request you to subscribe my channel so, so that you can get the notification of all the new videos coming on the latest technologies. And one like is a big motivation for a YouTube channel. So if you like the content of this video, please hit the like button and share your feedback in comments. All right, so let's start the video. So this is my project folder. In this project folder, we have already completed this read email using Graph API. And in last video, we have seen how can we read email. I am going to use same project and same script. So just a quick look. So this was the code to get the access token and after that we had another method till here we are getting the response and after response from line number 34 till end what we are doing if there is any error then we will print the error message and if no error then we are converting the dump so we get all the emails as dump and from dump we will convert that entire dump into an array of email items and then we will loop on each email item and we will print different properties. So I will just uh, disable this part now. Just a quick look if you have not seen the last video. If you have already seen, you can skip uh, two, three minutes from this video and we will just see how this dump comes. I have to leave at least one line so that it will not give any error. So it is printing the subject of top 10 email because by default it will read 10 emails. I will just go on top. You see it is extracting the data. So from here that uh, array starts value array. Okay, and we get the created time, last time, everything. We will get all the properties of a single email. And from body, it is giving us the body. And so from here, it is starting the new email item from this line. Okay. So now we have, I have already explained this in detail in my last video, and we will find the link in description. So in this, now we are reading all the emails. What we will do is, I I don't want to print this dump. Rather, I would like to print message subject and from whom we have got the, that message. I think that much should be sufficient. So let's create a variable. So 
plus query. The first query that we are going to see is filtering by the user email address. So you must have noticed in the last video and this video that whenever we get the from details, there are two different breakup or two different level of that JSON output, email address and address, two objects. So we want second one that is address. EQ means equals and email address you can replace or let's say if you want to create one variable, you can create a variable but remember these single quotes, single quotes and then double quotes to close, okay. Okay, so now second thing is this is our callback URL. Using this URL we will get all emails data. Now here we have to pass that filter query so what how you pass the filter query you just have to add a question mark and then you have to use this variable all right so now let's run this and see if it is reading all the emails which has come from above mentioned email id all right so in Right now, we are reading only top 10 emails using Graph API because we have not given any count. So that also we will see in some time, how can you restrict, how can you read top 10 emails or top 100 emails. But default count is that Graph API call will read only top 10 emails. So in top 10 emails, these are the only two emails which has come from this email ID. So now next thing is that how can you filter top 10 emails so for that query is very simple so you can just remove this query from here now and this is the query so dollar sign top 10 if you directly want to pass here you can use here also now i am just reading top 4 emails so these are my top 4 emails Right. I will just enable this part so that you can separately read it easily. I will run this once again. All right. So this is how we can read top 10 emails or top 1000 emails using Graph API. So now next filter query that we are going to use using Graph API is if the email have attachment filter only those emails so that this query will be used in next video also when we will save attachment so we will be filtering only those emails where attachment is available all right so this is the filter query to filter emails which has attachments so now i will run this In top 10 emails, all of these have attachments. Now we, we can see how can we read, how can we combine two different filter queries in Graph API call. Let's say we already have this filter query and we want to combine one more filter query. What we can do is we can just use end sign and after end sign we can just combine another filter. So let's say I want to use that top four filter query. Let's say if you want to read only top two and just run this once again. We have only two emails. Alright, so this is how you can combine two different queries. So in ma many of the cases, you will have a scenario that you have to filter email for date ranges. So I will just minimize this part because that query is little long. And
so you can see the filter receive date time that is one of the property and ge that is to start ge is greater than and received time less than le and then you have this entire uh, date and time so it will filter the email between this date range you will find this query in a description of the uh, video so you can see all of those emails which are starting from 25th april are getting printed here i just want to remind you once again if you have not hit the like button hit the like button and we are going to see many more uses of microsoft graph api so let's continue to the next filter query filter query is for subject so let's say if you want to filter using subject so you just give your subject whichever subject you want to filter out so but uh, remember these single quotes okay before and after your subject so i will just take uh, anything from this result maybe i will take this one it will return only one result because we have only one email using this subject just ask my subject here Yes, because it was for testing, so multiple emails are there for same subject. You can see each result for same subject. So now this is how you can filter the email with subject using Graph API. Now next topic, now next filter is that how can you filter the email using partial text in subject or using substring inside subject. So I will just modify the uh, filter query here. here you can give your filter criteria some text so what i will do is i will just type one random all right you can see here testing with attachment here you can see test with mail attachment here you can see second email attachment save attachment file test mail all of these emails contains attachments so this is how you can filter the emails with some text partial text in the subject or substring in the subject using microsoft graph api i hope you like the content of this video subscribe to my channel for more videos if you can share the link to your friends that will be really helpful hit the like button if you have not done so and share your feedback in comments happy learning see you in the next video